there are three huge mistakes that many people make when they run their Facebook ads. And in this video, I'm going to share with you exactly what these three major mistakes are. And if you are making any of these mistakes, make sure that you avoid them at all costs. Now, with that being said, over the past several years, I've literally reviewed thousands of Facebook advertising campaigns. And I have really came to my discovery that there are three most common mistakes that people are making when they're running their Facebook ads. And I want to share with them exactly what they are and why they are such a huge costly mistake that can cost you a lot of money and a lot of time. So with that being said, let's really dive right in. Mistake number one is people aggressively increase their ad budget. This is something that you want to avoid because with Facebook, they really focus on the learning machine and also their algorithm. So let's say that if you are running $20 a day per asset and your campaign is doing extremely well. It is very tempting for a lot of people to then increase their budget aggressively. After all, if you are getting a ROAS of a three, that means that for every a dollar you spend, you obviously make three dollars back. To a lot of people, if they do the math and say, hey, if I increase the budget to a hundred dollars, which is five times what I'm currently paying for my ads, I'm going to actually make five times the money. That is only half true because when it comes to Facebook ads, if you suddenly increase your ad budget aggressively, you are going to absolutely throw off the Facebook learning machine and algorithm. What they're going to do is that they are going to absolutely exhaust your budget because that's how they make their money. And if you give them signals that, hey, I'm going to actually do 5x the current budget then guess what? Facebook will help you spend 5x the budget, but not really factor in the results that you are going to get because you are now really affecting the learning machine. They all of a sudden will have so much budget that they are going to randomly serve your ads to people that may not even actually buy your product or become your lead. So when it comes to increasing your budget, once you got a campaign that is working, there are two ways that you can do. Number one is that you increase your budget by no more than 20%. If you increase it only by 20%, you're not going to throw off the algorithm. Now, at the same time, if you're like, well, I've already found a product or an offer that is working extremely well. I wanted to aggressively scale my campaign. What should I do? Well, that goes into the second method. What you can do is to duplicate the entire campaign into a new campaign and start off with a much higher budget. If you have a great offer and if you have a great landing page and a great click through rate on your ad, then oftentimes if you create a brand new campaign with a higher budget, you are not going to throw off the algorithm. Whereas your algorithm or the learning machine restarts in the campaign level. And by doing so, you're not going to affect the current campaign that is working because our rule of thumb is to not break what is working, right? So at the same time, you want two campaigns running one with the lower budget that you tested at $20 and the second campaign, which you aggressively duplicated to hundred dollars a day. You want it to actually let it run for one full day right at the same time. Now, if you have a massive audience within your asset, you don't really have to worry about audience overlap for that 24 hours, but we run it for 24 hours because we want to actually make sure that the campaign that we've duplicated are getting the same results as our $20 per day asset campaign so that we obviously are not going to all of a sudden turn a campaign that is making money into losing money right away. So as I said, when it comes to increasing the budget, there's two ways. Number one, duplicate to a brand new campaign with a much higher budget or just increase it by 20%. Now the next mistake that a lot of people make is essentially editing 
the asset or adding an ad in an existing asset. Again, if you do so, you're going to absolutely throw off the algorithm, and that's not what you want to do. So the only things that you can do within your campaign once it is active and it is working is to only pause things that you want to pause. Whether it is an asset or it is an ad, you can actually pause it. And by pausing, you're not going to throw off the algorithm because after all, Facebook is still serving your ads to get the best results based on whatever campaign objective that you're doing. So if you want to actually change the targeting, add in a new ad, or essentially wanted to change the demographic within your asset, you always want to create a new campaign. Do not, and again, I warn you, do not touch anything inside your ad set or adding in new ads. All you can do is just pause the campaign. Oh, sorry, pause the ad or pause the ad set because after all, we absolutely do not want to interfere with Facebook's learning machine and its algorithm. Now, the last one is, again, something that I would say really baffles me when it comes to Facebook ads and things that you absolutely should be avoiding to do, which is optimizing up of the wrong objective. Yes, people say, hey, I wanted to actually get more website traffic or I wanted to actually get more engagement to my ads. That is only half true. Because if you're giving the wrong signal to Facebook to optimize your ads up of, guess what? Your ads are going to get affected. Because at the end of the day, you told Facebook that, hey, Facebook, I just want traffic to my website. If that's the case, you're going to actually get a lot of clicks to your landing page. But oftentimes, there are people that are absolutely not going to convert. Because all Facebook will do is to look within your audience who is more likely to visit a website. And that's it. They're not optimizing to get you the results that you need out of a direct response marketer. Obviously, if you're e-commerce, you're considered a direct response marketer because you're turning ads into profit, right? So having that said, you always need to choose the right marketing objective. If you are running a Shopify store, you always want to have it optimized up of the purchase. If you are running a lead generation campaign, you always want to optimize up of a lead. But now, where does this exception come in place for different campaigns or different scenarios? Well, the answer is that if you're running retargeting, if you're running retargeting, then at this point, you absolutely do not want to optimize it up of sales or leads. Rather, you want to actually optimize it up of reach because these people have already saw your ad, they went to your website, they just haven't yet took an action. For you to maximize your result, you want to create a reach retargeting campaign so that way you get to control the frequency and control the budget. If you are to optimize your retargeting based on lead objective or a sales objective, if you're running a Shopify store, then you're going to actually get your frequency superbly high. And when you have a super high frequency, you're literally going to be wasting your advertising dollar. Because after all, people that saw your ad more than two times in a single day, if they're not going to take action, they're obviously not going to take action. So having that said, it is crucial, important for you to choose the right marketing objective when it comes to running your Facebook ads. And all in all, if you run the right marketing objective, if you don't aggressively scale your ads by just increasing the budget or to really play around or to edit things within your asset or adding in new ads, you're going to actually get a much better performance than anything else. Because over time, Facebook will continuously be learning about your business, about the clicks that you're getting and the conversions that you are going to get so that Facebook ultimately wants you to get the best and most results out of your ad spend. Because if you don't get the most result out of your ad spend, guess what? 
people are going to stop running Facebook ads. And when people stop running Facebook ads, then Facebook is going to obviously get affected by the revenue because they make money from ads that you run. So ultimately, if you have or ran into any of these mistakes, avoid it at all costs. All right. Never, never, never do that. Now, if you obviously want me to share more details or even show you how to create a reach retargeting campaign, all right, leave a comment right down below on my YouTube channel. And there's a lot of people that wants one. I can actually record my next YouTube video on how to create a reach retargeting campaign that's going to lower your cost of retargeting and actually get you better results. So having that said, I hope that these three mistakes that I've seen oftentimes from my students and people that I review or work with, I hope that you actually learn from it and avoid it at all costs so that ultimately you are going to get the best results from your Facebook ads. So having that said, if you have yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, please help me smash the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit that notification bell so that each time I release a brand new video, you're going to get notified right away. Till next time.